I'd like to talk about stars and what we're told about their position in what is said to be outer space. Now, we're told that stars are actually suns, and these suns are at varying distances, unbelievable distances, gigantic numbers. But when we go outside at night, we don't see the kind of freedom and the kind of chaos and movement that we would expect if all these untold numbers, these billions of stars were actually suns moving throughout the galaxy, having their own solar systems. It appears that these suns, or what are said to be suns, they move in a giant wall. And there's never a delineation in the constellations or the habits of these objects, whatever they are. Now, the parallax effect, there's a very simple experiment you can do, which should open your eyes and definitely throw a kink in what mainstream science tells you regarding stars, and at least their positioning. Now, when you have two objects, and you line them up, if your perspective changes, such as if you were on Earth, floating through the solar system, or spinning, objects that appeared to be lined up appear to no longer be lined up. So let's say that these two glass objects are stars. As Earth spins or moves, these objects appear to change positions. Now, you could multiply this effect by how many stars are supposedly in the night sky and get an idea of how it should look according to the conventional theory that these stars are all at different distances. What we would see is a constantly morphing, unbelievably chaotic night sky full of stars. The constellations would morph and break apart and it would be one big gigantic mess. So this simple experiment you can do, you can add as many objects as you want, place them anywhere you want, but no matter what, as perspective changes, so will the position of the objects relative to each other. And this is called parallax.